Hello everyone, I've got a walkthrough on how to beat Endgame on Brutal Difficulty. You just do not get a break when you're playing this mission on Brutal Difficulty. So we have to move quickly and have to make the right moves when playing through this one. For equipment, for helmet, we got the Indoctrination Visor, Suit, Apollo Infantry Suit, Gadget, Flashbang Grenade, Weapon, Blaze Fire, Gunblade for Nova. Unit Technology, we're going to be using the Marine with the Optimized Logistics. The Raven with Special Ordnance and the battle cruiser with regenerative bio steel. You do start with some marauders and siege tanks, but we aren't really going to be uh, pumping any of these units out, so it doesn't really matter what you hook up to these two. So internalized tech module for the siege tanks, and then the marauder has the laser targeting system. Here, I'll just go ahead and equip that. But like I said, we aren't going to be making those. Okay, let's go ahead and launch. All right, we're going to start pumping out some SCVs. Get these siege tanks sieged right here for the first wave that comes at you. It'll come very early on. We're going to take Nova over here, do some a little bit of damage, and then bring her back right away. Get these three SCVs right there. And then there's some mineral and gas pickups right down there. We're going to grab that Marine. Okay, we'll use Fury of One on these Marines and Medics. Take out this bunker real quick, and then we're going to, like I said, run Nova back to our base right away. Okay, we'll take out this missile turret. Alright, and we're bringing her back. Because it's going to be the enemy wave coming from the right side right away. Okay, we get down another refinery, get tech lab on our star port. Get some hockey set up. And we're going to set up an armory right there. And we'll get an engineering bay at the same time. Drop down some extra supplies on our supply depots that are already out. Okay, and then we'll get a fusion core up right away, too. Okay, here comes that enemy wave. <laughs> we'll stun these guys right away, and then we're going to flashbang them all in a big group here. Let our siege tanks do a bunch of damage. Get our marines and marauders over there. We're going to stun them one more time. You can pretty much keep them indefinitely stunned, so they can't do any damage to your units. Okay, then you're going to unsiege them, move them over to the left side. Siege him back up for the next wave that comes right away at your base. Okay, it should be here in just a moment. We'll get level 1 upgrades from both of these structures. Get this guy back onto the mineral line. Okay, and then we're just going to wait for enough gas and minerals and we'll pump out a battle cruiser right away. Okay, we're going to stun them all at once. We're going to stun them once again. Use Fury of 1 to do some extra damage as well. Okay, we're going to get these units down here for that wave that's coming at us. Not even going to bring our Marines and Marauders out, actually. Just use the Siege Tanks, and we're going to move Nova in and out with Fury of 1, Fury of one ability. Every time it's available, we'll bring her in, do a couple, or do some damage, move her back out of range, and then uh, so on and so forth. And we shouldn't lose this Gorgon. This first Gorgon we should be able to keep. Okay, let's get out a battle cruiser. Then we're gonna save up for our expansion right down there. Okay, I'm gonna throw down our command center in our base for now. We can lift it off later on. Okay, we're gonna use our Fury of One ability. These siege tanks will be in range in a little bit here. We'll use another Fury of One ability. Okay, I'm going to move Nova out of range now. Just going to wait for her energy to regen, and it's just about ready. I'm going to use it again. Okay, we're going to get her out of range. The siege tanks will start doing some damage. Oh! Okay, that one siege tank was too close. I should have moved him back here. But yeah, if you put him in the right spot, they don't get targeted by these weapons. Okay, so there, that Gorgon survived, and we still have one siege tank. Fortunately, not two. And I lied, we actually are going to make one or two siege tanks, because you can sneak them, you can sneak them in the back every now and then, like on this next one, you can sneak them right here, which is where the Gorgon's gonna, or Xanathos is gonna come next time. Okay, we'll keep on pumping out these SCPs. Okay, we're going to use level 1 armor here, level 1 armor, 
and then we'll get next upgrades queued up as well, just so we don't forget about them. And there's going to be another enemy wave coming in pretty quick here. Nova, this is Hyperion Actual. We're readying an assault on the Defender's forces guarding the Xanthos. Okay. Sounds like a party. And it's going to be an enemy wave coming in from this side right here. I set up some supply depots to help wall them off. And I don't want Nova to die. I'm going to pull her the heck out of there. Use Fury Vulnerability. Okay, I'm going to drop in a nuke to help out that Hyperion. Hopefully not do too much damage to it. Nope, didn't even do any damage. Okay, and we're going to pull Nova back. Like I said, there's going to be an enemy wave coming in from the left side here. we get these guys over here. That, there's going to be another enemy wave right here that's probably going to kill that Hyperion. Okay, we'll get Orbital Command on that command center. Get Nova over here. Oh, looks like the Hyperion should actually be able to kill that one off. Okay, and we're going to build another starport. Get a tech lab on it. Okay, like I said, enemy wave came in here. I was wrong. That Hyperion was not able to finish it off, but close. So finish off that Hellbat real quick, like. Okay, and then we'll get Nova back over here, because I'm pretty sure there's another wave that comes in over here. Okay, we're gonna let this guy off. Bring him down to our expansion. Okay, enemy wave should be coming in right about now. Right before Xanathos Upgrade gets to us. Loud and clear. Just waiting for it to pop up here. Oh yeah, there it is. Base is under attack. Davis is navigating the Xanathos to a Dominion Gorgon. They've activated a new bay capable of deploying air superiority okay. fighters. We're gonna bring our siege tanks down there. We're gonna bring them right in the back so they don't get targeted. And then we're going to use our Yamato cannons from the battle cruisers to do some extra damage to the parts of the of the Xanathos machine. I think we're going to Yamato the hangar bay first. Okay, I need Nova over here to use Fury One ability. Okay, once these guys start taking too much damage, damage, we're just gonna tactical jump back. Oh, they are already taking too much damage. We just carry one ability now. We're probably gonna lose this Gorgon, but that's okay. You don't need to keep all of your Gorgons, just as long as you can do as much damage as possible. Okay, they are out of the range. Here, let's get these guys back up. Now, where did I tactical jump my? All over the place. Okay, we'll get our Fury of One ability used again. Damn it. They destroyed one of our Gorgons. Add on complete. Executing. Okay, we'll use Fury of One again. Do as much damage as we can. Oh really? There's our battle cruisers. Okay. Get a couple more of these guys out. And we're going to tactical jump them right here. And we're going to do some more damage. Okay. This will definitely hold. We're going to take out that fighter bay. Okay. Now he is weak. Okay. We'll get our units back to base. Send them right there. And then right there. Okay. We'll unseat those tanks. Get them back to home base. Gotta constantly be ready for enemy waves that come in. Get some supply depots set up right here. We've got a lot of excess minerals. So we'll go ahead and spend that on our supply depot wall. And then we're gonna throw down some extra barracks with reactors and we'll pump out marines. Okay, let's keep the upgrades coming. I'm leading another charge against the Xanthos. You're welcome to join in, Nova. Xanthos, I guess that's how you say it. Xanthos. Okay, we'll get the refineries down. Got no for 
Okay, we'll get these guys sieged up right here. Actually, I'm pretty sure enemy wave comes in on this side next time. Okay, we'll get another siege tank. Like I said, I was wrong about not making siege tanks. We're definitely using the siege tanks this time through. Okay, we'll throw these reactors down. Okay, get armor level 2. Once we got that gas... I'm gonna save for a second here. Really want that upgrade. It's time to recover from that. We're leaving for a bit, Nova. Okay, where is Nova? She's right there. Okay, we're gonna pull these guys back. Don't wanna lose these units. It's an enemy it's an enemy wave. Okay, we're going to dominate this battle cruiser like I was talking about before. Now we have an extra battle cruiser. Okay, cool. So the enemy wave did come in from over here, but that's okay. We'll leave these siege tanks right here. Keep the battle cruisers coming out. Okay, we're gonna throw reactors down on all these barracks, and we're gonna pump out a ton of marines. We need to assault another Gorgon soon. That ghost will use any delay to her advantage. Keep the SCVs pumping. Okay, <clears throat> once this oh. There's going to be a nuke here. We're going to kill that guy first. Don't want that nuke dropping in on your base. Okay. We destroyed that enemy wave. There's going to be lots of nukes from now on. So as soon as you hear that uh, sound, you got to get the heck, get the heck out of there. Okay, this one, there isn't really any spot for you to... For you to plant your siege tanks really effectively, so just gonna want to use your battle cruisers on this. Okay, that missile battery, I always focus that down first with your model cannons. Okay, these guys are taking some damage. We got the missile battery though. Okay, I don't want Nova to die. And I want these guys to heal up. Okay, we're gonna start doing some damage to that flamethrower that does area damage, I think. Okay, this guy's taking too much damage. We're gonna get him out of there. Okay, get that one out next. All right, we gotta move back. Too much damage. I don't want to lose all these battle cruisers. Okay, they're gonna go straight for that back one there. That's okay. We're gonna pull out, pull our units now. Say again. Ah, that darn rail gun. I swear. Okay, I'll tactical jump this guy back. Tactical jump that guy back. Okay, we're getting rid of this darn rail gun. No more. Fury of one time. Here we go. Okay, you get out of there. The best part about having lots of marines is they're really, really good distractions for everything else. If you have a bunch of marines, take out the flamethrower first. If you don't have that much marines, take out the railgun first. Because the railgun does a huge amount of damage to big health units and if you have a bunch of marines which are low life units then I mean it's not that big of a deal if they take a huge punch because it's just one marine at a time but if you lose your battle cruisers they're really expensive so you gotta keep that in mind okay we're gonna get all of these guys same hotkey and real quick before we do anything else we are going to get some more upgrades here okay let's get these upgrades right here and we're going to be sacrificing some battle cruisers in just a moment, so we can we're get done. For the Xanthos, Nova. So we can get done there. with this mission. If you wait too long, it's just too much pain and punishment. It's just over and over and over again. You take too much damage. So I'm going to be sacrificing seven battle cruisers. I think that's about the right amount. Use all your mono cannons at the same time, and then you just target down or Xanathos weakness right away. Oh, these battle cruisers are moving too slow. Okay, we're just gonna wait for this enemy wave to come in because I know it will. Confirm that last. Okay, we'll take off SCV here to do some repairs of our base. There's a nice Status enemy report. wave that we're gonna take out. Confirm that last. Okay, that Hyperion will not last against this. Someone gets one. 
We need to patch up our ship. Okay, we're gonna stun these guys and we're gonna dominate that battle cruiser right there. Oh, that didn't work out very well. It's okay, we've got a lot of units here. Okay, we'll just finish taking out the rest of the stuff that's right here for now. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, like I said, oh, Xanathos is already. Nope, I don't think so actually. Okay, yep, we can. Yamato Cannon, the exposed weakness right now. And then we just got to hammer it down. And I'll turn it into its final form. There. Okay, and then if you can, try to save any of these guys by getting them to the back. Likely won't. It's unfortunate <laughs> that you sacrifice all of those battle cruisers, but I mean, you take too much damage and punishment if you wait. So at this point, it's really easy to finish this part off as long as you micro properly. Okay, and then make sure to take out this enemy wave. It's gonna be a nuke that drops in somewhere. Oh shoot, I messed up my hotkeys. Nuke's gonna land right there. Scan again. I want to take out that ghost quick. Okay, and let's drop down a bunch of supply depots. Okay, we've got three gorgons left too, so that's the best part. So we've got lots of lots of reinforcements. Okay, upgrades are coming in. We're gonna keep the battle cruisers coming. Nova is alive again, I believe. Yep, she is. Okay, we're gonna keep the SCVs coming out, and I'm just going to use SCVs for repairs too. Lost all of our siege tanks there, that's okay. And we're gonna get a reactor down. We'll use Goliath just as extra damage. Oh, that, that one's getting targeted first here. Okay, and we're just pretty much gonna throw away Marines. Sounds bad, but real good way to uh, take this one out. Okay, keep a good spread. And then anytime you see that beam, that's when you gotta dodge. And it's pretty simple after that. Hardest part is getting to this point. Once you get to this point though, I mean, you're sitting pretty good. Try to have like three groups of Marines. That way you can just... <laughs> oh no, we distracted it, look at that. Oh, 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 pull, pull, pull. Okay, we're just gonna keep the focus. You can pretty much just go full on Marine at, at this point here. Okay, we'll use Fury of One Ability. Pull these Marines off. Oh, no, we took a big hit there. We need Fury of One again. You just gotta keep this guy distracted. Okay, I'm gonna call in my battle cruisers now. We're gonna finish this off. Those enemy waves that drop in will kill your Marines, but as long as you have some battle cruisers saved up, you can do the finishing blow with some Yamato cannons here. Goodbye. Yes, we did it. Look at that, 20 minute StarCraft time as well. Pretty darn good. If you don't take this guy out early with that trick of, you know, using the tactical jump with the battle cruisers straight on top of the Xanathos machine, it is so difficult. Okay, we do have this little end part, but it really doesn't last that long. But anyway, um, yeah, if you don't sacrifice those seven battle cruisers to take out Xanathos, and use the model can all at the same time. This mission just goes on and on, and it's so painful. The more times that Xanathos comes at you, the more units you lose. Eventually, you start running out of resources. I mean, that's the same with any mission, but you really have to you have to go for the throat early on. I guess that's probably the best way to say it. You just have to go for the kill right away, and then make Xanathos transform into that final form. Because Xanathos is honestly really easy to deal with in that final form final form okay so yeah you just kill those four marines there and then if you want you can just you know sit and wait listen to the cinematic so you could just sit in silence if you want or you can just you know take her out i'm not sure if there's another way to end this but i don't think there is any way to end this mission without uh killing her so I think the whole storyline and everything set up for that. But yes, there you have it. And I crushed my previous uh, walkthrough, or not walkthrough, my previous...
playthrough of this on Brutal Difficulty with 25 minutes StarCraft time. That was awesome. So thank you for watching, everyone. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Leave a like if you liked the video. And make sure to join the Discord chat. The link is in the description. I'll see you all next time.